Hello info people, it is Genevieve and in this video we're going to draw a watercolor snowman in Procreate. So open up the app, create a new canvas and let's start drawing. So as usual, we are going to start by creating a new layer and picking the color we want for the snow. Here, you might be tempted to go with a gray or a white, but I highly recommend you go with some sort of a pale blue color. And I'll be using the Dark Edges watercolor from the Ultimate Watercolor Brush Set, which will be linked in the description below along with a promo code. But you can use just regular brushes and use the um, Opacity slider, which is on the left or the right actually, depending on how your Procreate is set up. And just lower the opacity somewhere around like 50 to 60%. And once you have that, just go ahead and draw some reverse C shape basically. Um, that kind of outlined the right side of your snowballs. So as you can see here, we're not drawing the entire snowball. We're really just basically drawing the shadow on the snowball. Since the snow is white, we don't want to draw the entire thing. You know, we just want to give an idea of where it is. And you're also going to draw some sort of a cast shadow, which would be on the ground next to the snowman. And make sure that you layer your strokes. So where you want to have deeper shadow, more intense shadow, just layer your strokes. And now we're going to blend everything a little bit so it doesn't look as digital, it looks more like real watercolor. So either pick the regular smudge tool that comes with Procreate, so the finger icon, or pick the water blender which is even better for, for this. Um, and it comes with the watercolor brushes. And all you're doing is you're blending the inside of your snowballs. So you want to keep the hard edges on the outside as well as kind of at the joint where the snowball connects but you want to make sure that everything else is blended so once you've blended everything feel free to take your eraser and zoom in and just erase some of the weird um, shapes that you might have on your edges and kind of make the entire snowman a bit more a bit more perfect I don't want to say more perfect now a bit more um, balanced there we go um, and also you can rework the shadow the cast shadow which would be on the floor or the ground I should say so you can really juggle with going in with the eraser tweaking the shapes then blending a little bit so you don't get too many hard edges from the eraser it's kind of a, a back and forth until you get something that looks like watercolor to you if the actual shape of the snowman is a bit wonky like mine, go ahead and select the arrow tool and you can just kind of put it back into place by simply pushing and pulling on the blue anchors in the corners and the center of the um, selection rectangle. But if you have a shape that is too wonky like this, go ahead and select liquify from the adjustment panel, set it to push and you'll be able to just move your, your color around on your canvas and get something that you're super happy with. You can also tweak the color of your snow. Again, from the adjustment panel, you can select U saturation and brightness and then just play with the hue. Um, maybe lift up the brightness and lower the saturation just so you get a really strong base that you're totally satisfied with. So once you have your snowman shape, go ahead and in your layer panel, well, first of all, rename your snowman layer to snowman just because it's good practices. And then create a new layer on top of that. And this one you're going to rename to arms. And the arms usually for snowmen are just branches. So go ahead and pick a like grayish brown, as well as either a brush that you've been using already or the soft grainy watercolor. And you're just going to draw really thin little sticks that have smaller branches that poke out from the sides. So that's kind of like you are drawing both the, uh, the hands but also just making the sticks feel more, more realistic and natural. And just like in real life, if you were to build a snowman, you might want to move this stuff around. So you can always use the selection tool and the arrow to just kind of change the way your, your snowman is built. And when you're happy, go ahead and create a new layer. This one you're going to rename it to nose and we're going to draw the carrot. And you can either pick your orange yourself or select the blue that you use for your snow and then using the harmony tool set it to complementary just pick the color that it suggests and then bring the saturation up 
and maybe the brightness as well and that's gonna give you an orange that you know will work really well with your piece once you have that go back to dark edges watercolor or keep the same brush that you've been using and you're just going to draw a nose so a carrot I like to draw it really long I don't know I just, I just think it looks super cute I know there's no way there's gonna be a, that big of a carrot in real life but this is not real life so this is the time to draw a super weird long carrot nose for your snowman and you're also going to want to lay your um, your color to make the bottom part a bit more dark and you might use the eraser to make it more pointy as well okay so we're now going to create a new layer and this one we're going to rename it to rocks and I don't know if you've ever built a snowman you know I'm from Canada so I built I'd like to say I've like when I was a kid, I used to build snowmen. I, I still build snowmen. And um, you kind of draw the features or create the features using little pebbles that you find around most of the time. So go ahead and select a very dark brown as well as the same brush that you've been using. And you're just going to draw the eyes and little circles that are going to create the mouth. So you're just imitating using pebbles to draw like the face of your snowman. And you can also add a few buttons on the second uh, snowball, so usually three. And in the example, we had two more on the bottom, um, bottom snowball, but here I'm just going to stick with the three on the second snowball. Once you have that, go ahead and create a new layer, and this one we're going to rename it to hat. And usually if you look at an image of a hat, uh, oh, sorry, an image of a snowman on like Google, for example, they always have these top hats and I don't know why because I don't know who in real life owns a, a top hat usually when you build a snowman you put just like a regular like winter hat on top so that's what we're drawing here like a beanie and you can pick the color you want I'm just going like you can see with the same orange that we use for the nose the carrot and you're just drawing a very slouchy hat on top of your snowman's head and again you want to make sure that you layer your color a little bit to add some shadows as well as um, well basically that's what's going to help you create the watercolor effect so yeah and just for like everything else you're going to blend in these hard edges that we've um, created by uh, layering the color so either with the smudge tool or with the water blender, just go over real quickly and that's going to really, really help with the watercolor effect in general. And you can clean out your shape a little bit um, with the eraser, but since it's watercolor, it's kind of nice sometimes to have some edge that bleed a little bit. And going back to your regular brush that you've been using from the start, you're just going to make it very small and add some little vertical lines across the bottom part of your hat. It's just going to make it feel a bit more interesting and just cuter <laughs> somehow and if this part here is bothering you go ahead and just erase it on the snowman layer kind of where the hat and the snow overlap um, you can think it looks cool and if you do keep it but otherwise just feel free to erase it and once that's done go ahead and create a new layer and this one we're going to rename it to scarf And you're going to put it pretty much above everything. So at least above the arms, uh, but it could be above everything. And you can pick the color you want. I'm just going with a darker and grayer version of my snow color. And you're just going to draw a line that starts really thick. So on the left side of your snowman and then gets thinner the closer you get to the right. And then below this one, you're gonna draw another one that is kind of the opposite. So really thin towards the left and then gets thicker towards the right. And this one, you're gonna double it. So just draw over it once more. And you're gonna draw kind of a, like an extra part of the scarf that is just falling down. And for this, it's just a really long, thin, wobbly rectangle. There is nothing fancy at all. If you want to have some sort of a frayed texture at the bottom part of your um, scarf, go ahead and use the water drag or again the water, like the regular smudge tool from Procreate and just kind of go over and stretch the color. It's going to create this really cool uh, feathered effect. 
And we're going to amp up the watercolor effect a little bit, so go ahead and with the selection tool, make this wobbly kind of shape over your snowman, and then feather your selection somewhere between 30 and 40%. And going back to the hue, saturation, and brightness panel, you're going to shift the hue a little bit. Not too much, but you just want to add a little bit of color variation, um, kind of like what you would get from real watercolor pigments. And you can repeat that on your other layers as well, so you can do it on the hat since it's a pretty, pretty big shape. I wouldn't necessarily do it on like the arms and the nose because they're a bit small, but definitely the snow and the hat. And speaking of watercolor effects, if you have the watercolor brushes, go ahead and pick the salt brush. And starting from a transparent or white section of your artwork, just drag the brush over, the color of it doesn't matter. And um, it's going to add some white speckles on your layer. So you can just go over all of your layers and it's both going to make it feel a bit more like watercolor, but it's also kind of going to look like there might be snow falling in front of your, um, your snowman, which, you know, if it's winter, you, you would probably have snow falling from the sky as well. And last but not least, we're going to add some splatters. So go ahead and create a new layer, set it to linear burn. And you're going to pick the snow color that you used as well as the splatter brush and just add some splatters. Um, there is no rule for this. You just want to add a little bit more texture, make your piece feel more alive. Then you can even switch and use some orange as well and add some orange splatters around the nose as well as around the hat. And that should be it. So there you go. This was how to draw a watercolor snowman in Procreate. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel and I would love to see what you guys create. So make sure you share the results with me either on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.